Hi, I've just uh, done this very simple sketch here. Um, just like a typical sort of Norfolk house with the, the back lower or the front lower than, or this is the, in this case the back lower than the the, the front, like the roof line. Uh, just some trees, and so let's see what we what we do with it. Um, I'm going to use the big sable, mostly, or for doing the, the rough work. Um, I've got my old day around palette here. I'm trying to get to use used to this again, uh, and the round brushes. I'm waiting for a squirrel. One of these, this AB one, that was nice, a pro art squirrel hairbrush, pointed. Uh, the, but the, uh, no, number six, this is number eight, it's a bit big for doing all this sort of thing. But I'm going to see, I haven't spent any money on brushes for a while, so I owe myself that. So, what I'm going to do is just to, to wet the paper, but not all over, I'm going to just Put that there, just paint round there. I'll put trees around this to highlight. So I'll have a light roof. When you're wet, you don't really need to be too, too fussy about it. And you can leave some areas just a little bit sparkly. I'm painting. Go over it all. By the time I get down to the bottom, that'll be dry. Bottom of the house. I'm leaving the house unwet. But you don't want it pouring anywhere. So I just wipe it. <coughs> Take off the excess. Okay, that that should do. Now we'll put in a bit of the very light sienna, raw sienna, clean up. So let's just put in a bit of a wet pan, a little bit of bit of cad red, not very cad red, a bit of uh, light red. Put that there. Now a bit of ultramarine. I don't need to mix and wash up really because I've wet the paper so I'm just adding some nice blue to that. Okay, while we're doing the washes, let's uh, I'll just spill my water <clears throat> over my foot of my sandal. It's a lovely day today, the spring is. Uh, sprung today so let's just add a little bit of a bit of alizarin in that blue and just put a bit across there let that merge okay this is i think this is arches 140 pounds rough not the roughest right while that's drying off i'm going to just put in some some hookers and some raw sienna, maybe a bit of burnt sienna. And a bit of kind of yellow. So nice warm colours in this foreground. Okay, go off and a little bit of uh, uh, so if I had a camera that, that I could turn off for a few minutes so that it was dry, have a cup of tea, and then just carry on where I left off, I'd be happy. But this can and cam call, you can't do it. It starts off a new video, and if you want it to continue as a continuous video, 
I'd have to edit it in the Windows Movie Maker and that uh, all takes time. Right, let's put in some nice some nice uh, summery trees. So look, a nice green mixed with uh, with the hooker's green. Go around the house. So I'll leave a bit of a margin. I'll add colours into that and we'll do some more around the corner here. Just an underpainting really. Now ultramarine by Sienna hookers. Oh, a bit of I've got some winds of blue there. There's a mix for this uh, Okay, so let's just get some of that in there. Got quite a good point, this brush. I'm not really used to these colours. At least not the... Uh, The winds are blue anyway. <clears throat> and we've got some nice so burnt sienna, that cuts it back quite a bit. So we can put a bit of that around here. Just get a bit of blue in there. that let's get there okay and we'll uh, go up here we'll show the bits of the uh, trees in the painting fairly dry now it's enough wet on the the paper but if I put a bit of ultramarine in Better before I'm about to hit that. Now, this all dries much nicer. So, let's get a bit of ultramarine, a bit of burnt sienna. Oops, I do. Keep going into that winds of blue. I might dispense with it, I'm not sure. I might just clean that. It's, it's artist quality, and that's. Very, very strong. Right, put some blues in there. Okay. Right, now I'm going to put in some distant greens. So a bit of blue, a touch of the green. Hooker's green, that is. And it's just using the side of the brush. Oh, a bit of, bit of blue in there. And then we can put some darker greens in there. Trying to mix the colour, put plenty of colour in here, but on the blue side. Okay, that'll do it for that. Oops. I think that really needs to be darker blue in there, so let's just, it's a bit of Bit of the winds of blue in there, I think. Bit of sienna. It's too green. It wants to be blue. Okay, 
We let that go. Now a bit of sienna, but uh, raw sienna. Put in a nice field. Okay, let's start to think about. I'm going to do some texturing in here, but I'm going to use my small number eight table. I will put in put in a sort of a tiled a raw a burnt sienna roof. But try not to bring in too much of that background colour. I don't want it to merge with this yet. Well, I don't want it to merge with it at all. <coughs> we can drop a bit of darker umber. Okay, uh, now the light well, is coming from wherever, I'll, I'll paint this light here and that's slightly darker. So a very faint bird number, it's a good, a good stone colour in the light. We can add some dirty stuff in that as well. Just miss out some of that. That'll be dark there. I think. <coughs> and darker under there, so a bit more burnt umber. By the time I put the shadow under the eaves, I'll bend it and I'll put a bit of shadow around the other side of that. Right, so a little bit of brick showing through. And a bit of dirt, so a bit of ultramarine in that. Like the chimney stacks falling into disrepair. Bit of uh, bit of red up here, and a bit there, and a bit of yeah. Keep going into the wrong blue. All right, let's put in some some windows. I need to show panes or anything like that. Let's put a shadow under there. Shadow under there. Right, uh, now we need to do some some texturing in that, so burnt sienna and a bit of 
hookers. Not a lot. Yeah, it must be a bit of a nuisance that, so ultimately, obviously the winds of brew being so close to to the ultramarine, I've got to do that there, yeah. yeah. Uh, the light's coming that way, so we'll put a bit of a darker bit of stuff on them. Now we want to uh, that's a lighter green for that, so catching the sunlight, let's get some KTL. Yeah, it's nice dark. So, hookers, for that sienna, and a bit of ultramarine. I'm going to put that in there. I'll just merge those trees in, I think. Bit muddy, isn't it? But I'm trying to get used to these colors, not the colors, but the method of painting rather than the wet and wet hake paintings that I've done for four years. I'm not abandoning that, of course. But uh, right, okay, so into that, I think we could put in a bit of bigger work, I think. <clears throat> Let's try. Let's have some dark. So a bit of Payne's grey, I think. Payne's grey and some sienna. Don't know if it'll work over the dark background, but it might. Just poking through. Could always use a bit of gouache white. Oh, that's just a little bit of detail. That's, that's a bit wet there, so it's going to just soak in. I think. Okay, so that that'll do. It's a sort of a rural scene, isn't it? It's not too bad. Red here. Uh, I can put a little bit in the bottom of my bottom of the palette there. So it's artist quality, five mil, they're nothing expensive. Well, I've had that years and years and years, but it's still fresh. I'm going to put a little figure uh, in red. 
edge. That's, I'm not going to use the rigger for that, I'm going to use the large sable. Nice and clean. Because it's got quite a good point on it. Kind of just nice and deep of yeah, no, it's just And uh, it's dark for his head, and you've got to be careful. Bit of shadow. Okay, what we'll be able to do? Mm. Put that bit, make it a little bit bigger. That's neat. That, I wanted that just to sharp against all those greens to relieve the greens. I think I'm going to think about losing that Windsor blue. I've never really got on with it. Winds of Prussian blue, they're so strong and they tend to overwhelm like they have here. But anyway, it, it might look okay. Let's just have a. Well, it's a simple Suffolk scene. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.